Today, we've got another property transaction related lesson for you. We've seen a few lessons dealing with the basis of an asset, dealing with the amount and character of the gains and losses dealing from a transaction. We've got another layer of complexity. Well, what happens if you've got related parties when it comes to a transaction? Now, these transactions, they can happen, right? You could, and you can give anything to anyone unless it's illegal. But what is the taxability of such an event? That's where the IRS steps in and says, let's add a layer of extra rules and regulation. Let's dive in and see what our learning objectives are as we go through this lesson. First off, we're going to want to identify related parties to understand their impact on an acquisition or disposition uh, of property. That's going to be important. We want to understand what is the implication if you sell something to brother, sister, family member, or someone who's in business with you who also owns percentage of the company. We want to understand and determine the direct and indirect ownership percentages of corporate stock or partnership interest to ascertain if the parties are related for tax purposes. That's an important point. We'll also see how uh, if I own 20% of a company and my brother owns uh, 40% constructively, that's as if I own 60%. That has implications for tax purposes as well. We want to understand and calculate the taxpayer's basis sold at a loss by a related party. You know, I can't just sell a bunch of assets at a loss to a sibling to try to recognize that for tax purposes. That's called committing tax fraud, and we'll talk about that much more. We also want to compute a taxpayer's gain or loss on the subsequent sale of an asset to a, an unrelated third party that was previously sold at a loss by a related party. That's just another way of saying we're going to take point three and make it a little more complex and see what we've got. Uh, we're going to see multiple scenarios where it's one after another and we just have these changes to it change one thing what happens change another thing what happens and lastly we're going to want to assess the effect of imputed interest on related party transactions for tax purposes that's going to deal more so with loans given to family members at a pretty low interest rate and uh, the fact that you may have to pay extra fees extra penalties on that we'll talk about that how the irs feels about it and so much more as we dive in Hey there, are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material? We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together. 